Welcome to Thalborg. <laughs> I am your host, Alan, and I'm joined here by... <laughs> ben. I don't want that. No, I don't want this to be a freaking intro. No, I, no, that's a shit intro. And uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is the Clan Thalborg podcast. <laughs> Enjoy. Run, run while you Perfect. can. Get out of here. <laughs> Right, I want this podcast to be called Alone Good. Alone Good. Alone Good, yeah. Describe to me why. <laughs> why the fuck did why you want that you to be called? Call alone right, Good. Right, I right. Remember back in the day when we used to go library all the time, and none of us had girlfriends. And Eric said, "Alone." And I went, yeah, and then he went, good. And then, and then that, that just stuck. And then we were, we, that just stuck for like the whole like two years of us being at A-levels. I don't remember that, though. No. You don't remember that? No. We even wrote it on the table before we left. Oh, it sounds familiar. And the librarian was like, you little shit. Oh, man, those librarians hated they it. They absolutely hated us. And do you know what was super awkward? Is that I met one in Tesco once. Oh man! Yeah. During during school. Or no, it was after school. Oh man! Did you yeah. have a? Oh, so what are you doing with your life now? Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Oh my Sugar. god, man! It was shocking. I was just like, I was like, please, please don't ask me what's oh, going on no. in my life, please. I was like, yeah, I'm an astronaut on the weekends and. <laughs> Which one was it? Was it was the one with um not Scarecrow, the other one. No, it wasn't Scarecrow. It was um it was the one with the chubby one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The chunky monkey. Oh. It was that one, the one we would let like really short hair. Yeah, yeah. It, had, it was that girl. But she was just like, Oh, so what are you doing now? I was like uh, well, I'm working part time. <laughs> what else to do? Um, <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> I was like, oh no. She was Ouch. like, oh, I hope it's going I well. Hate for you. those conversations are the worst. I think anyone <laughs> our age can relate to it as well. Yeah. Because it, I, I think it's it's just like the the go to response for an adult to like small talk. It's weather. A, and career. Yeah. That's yeah, all so adults want to talk so about. What are you doing? Weather. Wait, it's career. just small talk, isn't it? It's like, it's like, oh, uh, so. Uh... That's why, do you know, uh, well, I wouldn't say, I, I do like seeing family. Do you like distant family? Distant family. I don't really have any distant family, so I don't know. Like family that you rarely see, right? Yeah. But I hate that conversation where it's like, oh, so what are you doing now? It's like, stop. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so what am I going to tell you? Yeah. Like, oh man! Yeah, no one like no one, no one knows this. Yeah, I'm like, a free spirit, man. Free spirit. Nobody knows what I'm doing. So you're unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I've always wanted to work outdoors. It's a good time. It's a good uh, a target. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah. Why don't you do that? I do. I'm trying to get like a season air job. Then I'll be working out for every day. I mean, like manual labour outside job because I want to work my body. You I want to use body. it. I don't want to be in an office with my my I got my hunchback. I'm going, Jerry. The papers aren't done, Jerry. I'm just gonna be really fat. I'll go and office dues and stuff. Oh man. Uh, Christmas dues are the worst. Do you know in uh, uh, my Christmas dues at my first ever job in um the restaurant? They were so good. They like they oh, organized like them. these ve- events and like they would hire out the bar and stuff and they were just they were really good. It seemed like the place where you worked last that cafe. You had guests there. Yeah, I did. I did have guests. There. Yeah. But I had I had uh, other Ben, my other friend Ben. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Sorry, Benny. Oh, no, uh, ben, ben. My better friend Ben. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I got along with everyone. Everyone did. It was like um, it's a pretty cool place to work actually. What's your humour like with guests? Oh, um, it's, it's. I'll be honest. It's quite similar to his. Oh. Yeah. It's, 
I don't know. We've reminisced don't a lot. Don't say anything else. Uh, <laughs> We've already gone too far. Uh, yeah. We just chat shit. I'm great. We just chat shit. More like hang out with him then. Uh, well. Do you know that time that you were in that certain flat in that certain place and he came over and wore a certain hat <laughs> that was owned by a certain person? <laughs> I was like, that motherfucker. Oh, man. <laughs> I was so jealous. Ugh. I was super that was jealous. That was a good night. That was a good night. So, yeah, shut up, mate. Freaking. Good fun. Introduced guests to Talborg and everything. Yeah. He loved it, by the way. I know. He's. I've always said he'd be a great member. Yeah. I said that before you. Good clan member. Yeah, good clan member. You'd listen when spoken to. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd respect. We need more Talborg hats, though. You twitch so much. Stay brick still. Because I'm lying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we've been lying down all day. So uh, it's, like, it's like my body's like, do something, please. They're probably hearing like clank, clank, clank. Oh reason. shit, yeah, because it's not on the table anymore. All right. Yeah, so this podcast about is alone good. Even though it's probably not going to be called that because that makes no sense. No, it's going it's to be called that now because I've said it on it. Uh, it's going to be called alone good. I dibs, dibs, dibs. I, 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 it's always been about. Us not having girlfriends, but that being okay, that's what that saying is, basically. Because you're never alone, if you think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. That's the cringiest thing. You have millions of cells inside you. What are you talking about? Dozens of organs. Hundreds of bones, all working for you. Oh my god. You see, you're not alone, buddy. They're all going, come on, Alan. Go on, get that girl, Alan. Come on. They're all hoping that you succeed. Oh dear. The amount of times I whack around the phone. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Stop, stop. I think you got like a nervous twitch or something. You're just like... <laughs> yeah, no, I keep whacking around the phone. Do you want this to put in your lap? Yeah, right. To pretend like <laughs> you're doing something. <laughs> American Why? kids. There was something I wanted to look up for this podcast. What? 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 Statistics of loneliness. <laughs> that guy looks lonely. What if you could trade a paperclip for a house? And you think our conversations are shit. Shit. Shit, man. How is that even a title? You gotta get clicked. How many views has that got? Alright, I got that's got Oh my god, that's got one million. Alright, we'll just put we'll we'll call this podcast Building a Huge Oh wait, what where is it? We turn that one. Oh, okay, so we'll we'll call this What if you could trade a paperclip for a house too? We'll just call it that. And then we'll get a million views. That is so slimy. That is unbelievable. No, that is so slimy. (laughs) I do not want to do that. And then put that guy's picture on there, like, as he's more, like, another picture of him in that video. Can't do that. Oh, man, that is... It was a year ago, though, man. Nobody cares about that now. Do you know, loads of people do that type of stuff, though. Like that guy who's, like, my he the the name of his video was something like my girlfriend can squat more than your girlfriend, and then his girlfriend was fat, but on the front on the the picture on the front of like the YouTube video, was of like this incredibly hot woman. Oh yeah. Like and it was it. just like everyone was commenting like, why the frick would you like? Yeah. Because he, he just basically insulted his girlfriend. Cause it was like, yeah, yeah your picture won't. It's so it's such clickbait. It's yeah, so no. slimy. We, we, I hate clickbait. <laughs> I know you need the, the it. idea of clickbait is to is to tease them, entice them, make them want to click it, but not mislead them. If you misled people, you're doing clickbait wrong. So you you've got to use clickbait to something that'll be in the video or whatever. So it'll draw their attention. So they they're interested. Like, oh, that I want to check that out. 
I don't know, man. I think, uh... like Casey Neistat did um, a video recently, and he he talked about what good clickbait was. He wrote, his latest viral video was um, like the twenty the the first class seat, a twenty one thousand dollar seat or something on a plane. Yeah, uh, what it's like in a so obviously there's lots of people that want to check that out. They're like, oh, that's they're curious. They want to know what a twenty one thousand dollar airplane seat looks like. So they click on it, and it's not misleading. It'll tell you about that. Do you think everyone should cycle everywhere? Yes. How do you transport heavy things then? I think you should have vehicles as well. But I think so. You shouldn't. Think, so you don't think people should cycle everywhere. I think a lot of people should commute via um, like things like things like bicycles and stuff because they can. They, most people can, and they don't. I think it should just be a thing where you like by law have to. People are forced to ride bicycles. Should we talk about flipping Tokyo? And the no Tokyo? fat law. Oh my god, yeah. Remember that's that? really crazy. Wait, so I'm going to see if that's true though. Because um, I heard it off someone. You heard off me. Oh, right, there you uh, go. I heard right. it off a YouTube video, so I don't know how reliable this is. But I'm pretty. it, it, it seemed pretty legit. Yeah. So if, we, again, this is just a chat in bollocks. But if you're from Tokyo... Tell us about this. Yeah. There you go. That'll, that'll tell us. No, I'm But I heard yeah. it's it's basically, it's illegal to be fat in Japan. And um, the way they do it, they don't like just arrest you if you're overweight. So you have to go for an annual waist measurement by a, to a doctor. The doctor has to we- measure your waist. And the, the, like, the limit is pretty strict. Um, like it's probably a bit too strict, but I know, I know there are a lot of Japanese that tend to be. Yeah, Japanese smaller. make uh, make laws. Yeah, Japanese, Japanese make... law makes it illegal to be fat. So it, you <laughs> have to go for a, an annual waist measurement, and if you're over, <laughs> <laughs> if a male surpasses thirty three point five inches. In the way he's considered fat. Yeah, so and your business is... your business becomes responsible for your weight. So if you don't lose that weight, your business can... Um, the company that you work for is uh, takes on, like, large fines. They get basically get fined by the government um, until you lose the weight. You must be so pissed off. Um, but, but that, like, they're, they give them help, they give them, like, uh, dietary help and, uh, um, exercise help and, um, they, you know, they have to take on, like, the, the weight So it's loss. not personal fines, it's through a business. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's heavily frowned upon there. Like, you will get pretty much bullied if you're You don't really see stuff. obese fat, uh, Japanese people. No, they're, they're, like, the healthiest people in the world. Uh, they have the longest life expectancy. They all eat very, very There's healthy. There's a high suicide over there. Uh, Japan? Yeah. I know China does. But... Well, if you gave me the freaking laptop, I'd be able to get statistics. Right? I thought Japan was really good. No, uh, I think it's quite high. I'd really like to go to Japan. Maybe it because it's great, depressed because yeah. we want all those cookies. I wonder what the snacks are then. I bet the I bet the snacks like the desserts and stuff have like seaweed and things. They must have like high tax on them or something. And they have those vending machines that you can. It's like the world of vending machines over there. Like they oh. like you can get pretty much anything in a vending machine. Like eggs and and cake. And eggs. Stuff. Yeah, you can get <laughs> any, like anything in a vending machine over there. It's nice. weird. You can get a full meal. I don't think I want that though. No. I like the human interaction. Yeah, me too. I like the, is that it? And then, yeah. Do you want a bag? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, that's five quid. Alright, thanks. That's what I like. And I'd miss that if that, went, that would go out the window. Uh. Besides, vending machines, they probably, it's probably, 
Another costly on the environment. Uh, I don't know. Because all that metal, all that electricity. Oh, you'd yeah, be I gone. Guess so. You got a human. You just need noodles <laughs> <laughs> to keep it going. <laughs> noodles and cake. I don't. If you're a company though, and someone keeps getting fat, are you allowed to fire them over there for that reason? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because over here, everything would kick off. But uh, here, uh, over there, sorry. Like even every morning, lots of companies just uh, do like exercises for all their workers. Like it's it's just standard that they do half an hour of workout before work. When you go to work. That's really good. That is really good. But can you imagine how much complaining would go on over here? Yeah. They got sore knees. They do that in the school though as well. Yeah, yeah, they do everything. Like the kids over there, um clean their school every day. I think that is a well good idea. That's really cool. That is a really good idea. Do you know how many people kick off over here with that? You'd be like, oh my god. I have to clean my school. I have to clean my own shit. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, you do, you pancake. Freaking, you should definitely get kids to do that over here. I'm surprised they don't. I wish I was t told to do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be there cleaning some toilet. You'd be like, I don't know uh, if they do like that. I just know they do like floors and things. They might get a janitor or something for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they still have a janitor because yeah. I'm assuming freaking seven year olds don't do a good job cleaning. But uh, if your whole school's doing it every day. I like the. I saw the videos of them doing like loads of exercise over there. Like they, they're in just like a horde of. <laughs> just a horde of Japanese people just doing like this exercise. I thought it was really good. It was like uh, some yoga stuff and whatnot. Like public zumba is really popular over there. Yeah, I saw a lot of that. Um... It's quite dense though. Like the cities are cities. Like everything's just blocks on blocks. Yeah, but you could say a thing about like London though. I mean, London's massive now, but there's a lot of people in it. No, uh, when we went there, it wasn't it wasn't that packed, was it? Like when we were roaming the sh were roaming the streets, we uh, didn't. It wasn't like it was heaving, and we went on a week, didn't we? Yeah. Maybe it was like rush hour or something. The Natural History Museum down there was pretty good. Yeah. Should we review it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I mean, it was really uh, good. could have had more girls than that. Mm. Than that. My sister slept underneath the dinosaur skeleton in the entrance. She did, she slept. She yeah, she did like a sleepover wait, thing in the National what? History Museum. She uh, overnight. Yeah, yeah. It's no, like, it's like a. Away. I don't know if they do it all the time. I think it was like a like one off thing. Man, and, that's uh, sick. They like it, they closed down the museum for the night, and then there was like a sleepover with a group of people, and she got to. Sleep. So all those bones in that dinosaur aren't real. Yeah. There's only like two that are real in it. And I was like, oh right. Yeah right. Thanks. Man. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we just guessed the rest. It was like, all right, okay. Well, if I guessed the rest, I would have put a wing there, horn there. Sharks are freaking scary, man. We called this one a nurse shark. Just to lure you in, thinking that it's going to help you. I, I, I swam with those. Yeah, yeah I swam with those. And They'll you. give you like a, a hickey if you're unlucky or lucky. I don't know. A hickey off a shark would be pretty cool. But uh, A shark can't give you a hickey. Yeah, they don't have like teeth. They just, they like suck you. They go... You're saying a shark sucks you? Because it's, it, it's not like a predator, but it'll like, they, they test what you are with their mouth. Maybe. Like, you know, the, it's unlikely it's going to happen, but if they do, you'll give you a hickey. Do you think anyone's put the dick in a nurse shark's mouth? Mmm, doubt it. I doubt it. I reckon some Magalese Jesus, guy. could you, oh man, I wonder how many people have literally just had their dick bitten off by a shark. A solid... I mean, not double many. digits, double digits. Yeah, I'd double say. digits. Yeah, I would, yeah. In the how history many people? Of ever. 
I, I don't think it's like a... Like it's like the shark gone for the dick. I think it's gone for the leg, took the leg out and the dick. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been like a clear... I don't think there's ever been a clear yeah. dick shot. And shark, shark attacks are mouse so too big. rare as well. So. Yeah. I think their teeth though, they're just like... You just keep growing, yeah, growing. They, they are scary. They're amazing. I love sharks. I think they're incredible. I love sharks. They don't love you. They're amazing. You they can't would fuck not you up, them. man. Yeah, of course they would if they wanted to. But I'm, you I, got I, some pat lunch they want. You I'll got respectfully some keep my distance from one. Yeah. But they are amazing. I gotta love the sharks, man. Wasn't didn't you say there was a guy on your traveling adventures who went swimming with sharks all the time? He uh he he's a spearfisher, so he every day he just catches his fish while he's spearfishing. He's one of these people that holds his breath for about three minutes, and he just goes underwater and spears fishes. But he I had this hold time. Hold your breath for three minutes. You get used to it. You, you you like I can hold my breath for about a minute underwater, uh. But you can you, you get better at it. Right, yeah, you can hold your breath when you just go down, but when you move and using oxygen. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's all about like. Conserving energy, uh, mind over matter, sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's like that. And uh, he was in Australia, I think. In, like, he went spear fishing during dusk, so it's like that's basically feeding time for sharks. And um, what an idiot! He uh, was in like murky water or something, and he was like, "I need to get out of here because this is pretty." He's risky. in murky water. Murky shark water. Shark water shark. at dusk. Yeah, at dusk. And then he was like, I think he peed in the ocean. Which and is he like, peed. Which is like, you just do not do. Some people really ask for it, don't they? <laughs> and then uh, he basically got a bull shark came at him really badly. Um, it kept coming for, for him. I can't remember what he... Yeah, he was like clambering onto rocks. And I think the only reason he managed to get away was because he found a rock in the ocean that he could stand on and like... Um, scare it off or something. I can't remember what, what exactly. Scare it off, yeah. <laughs> but he was saying like it just kept coming for him. Like he would not leave him alone. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Why do people like? I find it shocking. Like, do you know some people are just like, like they're not bothered with heights. They're like, uh, uh, they're really like daredevil-y and nothing. Like it doesn't like, they don't understand. The danger until something happens. Like those type of people. Like if I get on a roof, I'm like, shit, this tile could go. Shit, I could go fall. But then another guy would be like, well, nothing's ever happened it, before. It, it so. depends what it is. Like, I'm not really particularly scared of sharks. Like, I, 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 it's yeah, on my bucket list to go swimming with sharks. Type. I want to go swimming with sharks. But like, there's, there's certain things that you don't do, like go swimming with sharks during dusk in murky water. Um... They're, they're killers, man. They're made for one thing. Shark attacks, there's like, in how many people are on the freaking world? Like, seven billion. And how many know, people... Bend are, it, do you know, Hang on, hang on, hang on. How many people go in the water a year? So, it'll be millions. Millions of people go in the water every year. And there's something like 150 shark attacks a year. It's yeah. so few. They're so few. Well, more people die from vending machines every year. Than sharks. That's an actual fact. Wow. I remember that. How do you die from a vending machine? I just don't know how you die. Is it electrical shock? I or guess does it just fall suck on you in if you they get the wrong can. Fall on you? No. Maybe. It's right. Too thick at the bottom Maybe for it to fall. Your crisps fall. No, they get they get stuck in it. So you're like this. You put your yeah, arm in the put door. Your arm up. And you're yeah. trying to get it, and your yeah. arm gets stuck, <laughs> and you start panicking. You pull it, and then it, it like it cuts your arm. And you get infection, and then you die from the infection. Yeah. Death by vending machine. Just like that guy who died from that guy's tooth. Oh shit! Yeah, we were gonna mention that. Yeah. Sigurd the warrior or something. Um, he Sig Sigurd. He killed Sigurd. a man, cut his head off. Attached his head to his horse and He's, then rode I around. He, I think he cut off quite a few people's heads. Yeah, and then the guy's head bounced off the floor and his tooth caught the Viking, the, the warrior's leg. <laughs> and it cut him and he got an infection and died. How freaking unfortunate. That is... 
That is the lamest way to die. And I saw another one that was um, uh, a guy died from a tortoise being dropped onto his bald head. And it was... The, what? The theory was that um, a bird saw him and, would, you know, they do this. They, they pick up tortoises and drop them yeah. from heights to smash them open. Um, they were, like, aiming for his head or something because they thought no it was a rock. No way. They, no way. <laughs> and that's why people were... Wear <laughs> helmets. <Hey>, helmets. Around <laughs> yeah. tortoises. Yeah. Around toy toys, people yeah. wear helmets. Do people die from coconuts? Yeah, yeah, the huge amount of people. How mad's that? Yeah. I can see why. Cause coconut death. You can you you sit under a palm tree. Like they're nice to sit under. And they and are then, solid. And then no they do they do just come down randomly. Like they they they're really heavy as well. Like I've so seen a guy though like, rip apart a coconut with his teeth. Wow. The yeah. outer shell or inner shell? He ripped into it and drank it. So the inner shell. So the so the whole of it, he just went. Well, coconuts come like this, and then the, that's the outer shell. You break that open, they've got an inner shell. Inner shell, inner shell. Coconut death, that that's the lamest way to go. Fuck, man, you're sitting under a palm tree and gets... You're just there and you're like, oh, look at this, this, this couldn't be any... And then it just stops like that. And you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty lame way to go. On that, no, the worst way to go is R. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, how is the there. worst way to die? Right. Oh, we should, if we get more people, but we should get them to, like, put in... Way worse ways of d- to die. We should put in the comments. Like, yeah. If you've got a worse way to die, yeah. write it in the comments. We want to read yeah, about it. Comments. But our one oh, is yeah. there was this. Um, this week we made something with kids. Right? Yeah. So there's this like, well, we'll just call it a theme park. I don't really know what it is. It's <laughs> like a, a theme park with full of like muddy rivers and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, there's this tunnel that you have to like crawl through. And we were thinking, it gets really narrow, and we were thinking the worst way is if you followed in a fat, a fat man who got stuck. Medically obese dude. Yeah. And then this, another fat guy came in behind you, Yeah. and he got stuck. So you're stuck between these two guys, and the yeah. guy in front of you starts shitting, and yeah. <laughs> it starts filling up the tunnel. And then the guy behind you starts puking because it's so yeah. bad. <laughs> and you're, you're it's puking pitch over. black it's and you can't black. see a thing and, and all just... you can smell is shit and sick. Oh man, and you just drown yeah. in it. Oh, that and that's the... it, you die. That is the worst way. And the guy behind you who's puking, he, he can't speak either so you, you, you don't get any... You don't get con- to console with him before you die. Just silence, just puking shit. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's it. But the guy in front survives. Oh, man. And he's like, shit, that guy's got all my oh, shit man. inside of him. Oh, it would be so bad. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really know why he would start shitting, though. We never really went into that. Well, he could, he could, have, he could have food poisoning. Oh, he could. He could. Yeah. <laughs> I've got food poisoning, yeah, yeah. but I'm going to go to this, uh, like, muddy tunnel. <laughs> I really don't Squeeze feel well, but through. I'm going to do it. <laughs> The guy in the behind him has to be fatter than him. Why? The guy in front. Because the guy in front, if he's got through the tunnel that far, the guy behind has to be fatter to get stuck in the bigger Oh, bit. yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah he does. never thought Sugar. about that. So you're getting, you're getting a more obese guy sick. Oh, man. And it's like Sundays and Mackie D's. That is like the worst way to go, though. And I don't think I could ever top it. Yeah, so if you have a, a, a worse way to die than that, please put in the comments. Would it be worse if there was like a little light just above you on the tunnel? So you could like no, see the, what was the dark, happening? the dark would dark. be worse, yeah, okay, not yeah, be okay. able to Alright, shit. And the guy's like puking, going, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Technically he would die as well. He he's... would die before you, because he couldn't get his head up. Up far. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean he'd have to be really fat. <laughs> yeah. Really fat. He'd have to be so fat, man. 
Oh man. Do you know if that scenario ever happened and a fat guy went in a tunnel before us, we'd all look at each other and be like, no, 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 I'm not going in. I am not going oh, in. Man. The universe is cruel. Oh, I it knows how to no mess way. with me. I know how to bro- like preserve myself. Like, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, no way. That's the one thing I'm not doing <laughs> this week. Right, so what are we on? We're on like 30 minutes now, aren't we? Do you want to... Talk about Miss Suicide Sheep. Oh my god. Miss Suicide Sheep is... Well, he, he doesn't really do his own music, does he? No. So Miss Suicide Sheep is our, like, go-to, go-to music guy. He's a small electronic name promoter on YouTube. Uh, he's, he's really popular now. He's got, like, 5 million views. But we've been with him... Been with him. Yeah. <laughs> Since 2010, I think I joined his channel. Yeah. Which is around when he started, so calling hipster here. Yeah. Yeah, All right. uh, yeah. yeah um, he's like, yeah, he, he, he comes out with like... Yeah, he promotes music, so he yeah. posts other people's music, and people tend to like it because it gives them recognition. I um, find today's artists are going in that direction, though. How Mrs. Suicide Sheep's music's always been. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, there's only small hints of it, but they're going that well, way. Kygo started off with that. He's got famous for it, Mr. Suicide. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, there's another guy as well. Um, but oh, anyway, uh, a lot of the music that we play in Talborg is going to be from Mr. Suicide. Yeah, so I'm sorry. We if figured, <laughs> not all of it, but some of it, and uh, we figured it would be worth giving him some credit yeah we'll he's... probably put his channel in the description god when did we first start listening to him you showed him to me yeah i i found a guy called 17 tumber first and he basically the same idea yeah, right yeah and then i found mr suicide sheep and then uh it just kind of you know, like i've found a few others since but miss suicide sheep's still my favorite it's got nothing to do with sheep committing suicide, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time I'm playing it, the if someone's next to me, like, Mister Daisy, what does that mean? Yeah. It's like, well, I don't mean. It's not video of a guy killing a sheep, killing it. No, so. no. It's he just... he did a Q and A, Q and A, and someone asked him like, what's with the name? And he said it's from Worms. Do you know the game? Yeah. Like where you play as worms and you yeah, kill yeah. each other's worms. Yeah. There's a weapon, the sheep, and you go, you you launch the sheep, and it goes and blows up. That's Whoa, what it's from. Oh man, that's quirky. It was just like a, a random name that he made like six or s- years ago, and then he's just sort of stuck with it. That's cool. Yeah, it's completely unrelated. I but... suppose that's like Talborg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, oh yeah! Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the origins of that oh, name man, cannot yeah. be mentioned yet. Yeah, that, that's to be that's to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Miss Suicide Sheep has all my favorite music on it. Yeah, it does. And Miss Suicide Sheep is. We've got a picture of him. We're gonna put up a picture of yeah, him. Yeah, right. Should this this podcast we should have his the picture of him as the yeah yeah so. It's gonna what be... did he call the um, the the like screenshot? What was it called the the picture for the video? What that's got a thumbnail. name? Thumbnail. That's it. That'll be the thumbnail. Yeah. Of the video, because uh, that's what we think he is anyway. Yeah, that's what uh, we think. That's what we we say. Yeah. When he's in the room, that's him. Yeah. And speaking of <laughs> Mr. Zutai Sheep, this. This one song, this week's song. Oh yeah, yeah. Is Atom Glow by I don't know. No, that's it. It's Atom. I think is the artist and the oh, song right. is Glow. Um, oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, it's Atom Glow. Yeah. So the the artist is Atom. The song is Glow. We'll as usual <laughs> put it in the playlist. Yeah, as usual, um, freaking do the same freaking thing. And uh, this is actually one of the original. Talborg songs, This was it? like, yeah, this was I original the, for me. The first time we created Talborg, I think we listened to this song. This was like the first Mr. Suicide Sheep. Mr. Suicide Sheep. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> this was the first suicide song I, like, ever, like... <laughs> the, the first suicide song. <laughs> the first time I killed myself. Let's just call him Sheepy. You know, like, easy. This is the first Sheep song. 
CP. I've I've freaking I I like fell in love with. Yeah. I listened to it's it really loads. Good, yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll whack that in there. Yeah. Um. Do you reckon like someday if we like have a bit more recognition, we'll be able to play tracks during. Ooh. We'd have to get permission and stuff. I think but... you have to pay for that. Where well, you'd have to get permission. If you don't have permission, you'd have to pay for it, I think. Yeah, that would suck, ringing them up. Excuse like, me. Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, think, I think you have to go through quite a bit. Cause yeah. Even if you show something, like a small clip of a YouTube video, yeah. in a YouTube video, oh, yeah, you yeah. can get pulled down for it. There's like loads of whatever stuff going on. But I wonder how like normal vloggers get loads of music on and what. They use, um, a lot use, like, uh, what do they, like, non-copyright music? Just music that is free. Like, they'll, a lot of these small artists will have a SoundCloud with all the music. Yeah, on. like, say, uh, Elliot feel Hulse free to use uses it. quite a lot of the, like, uh, working out channels. Yeah. Use quite, quite a lot of the same music. Yeah, and it, it's just, it's just music that is free or unlicensed or whatever yeah. the word is. Um, unlicensed or some even put like if you are a music producer and you want music on my channel let me know oh yeah 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 I've actually seen that before yeah I was watching uh, not not yesterday the day before do you know that live feed that NASA puts up sometimes the I don't think I've seen that the, the, each, the, they've been doing recently I'm not sure if they've done it for a while but like live feeds of like astronauts in space, like just the, from the satellite, like a camera from the satellite. All right. And it's like you should see how many conspiracy videos there are oh, on like man. each one. It's just like the Earth is flat, the aliens look at the cars. <laughs> oh my god! There's like there's like little beams of light in the background. They're like look a starship past us. Like man, some people get a lot of money from just making up shit. Oh man, yeah. But it's like us. Like us, <laughs> yeah. But we don't get paid for it because it's so shit. Yeah. <laughs> but literally, their job is just to be like, right, I'm gonna like edit or like this video from NASA to make it look like this happened and then I'm gonna put loads of this disinformation out there just to fuck with everyone mm -hmm. and then it's like wait got him now I got a paycheck it's like it's just a prank bro yeah it's just a prank bro <laughs> ravioli but I thought I find it very interesting like the the earth of view like the guy like there's the astronaut guy oh, I can't remember what it was off but he was like he was saying like he was on the th in the satellite, out on the outside. Sorry. Uh, and he, he below him were the aurora lights, mm. the northern lights, oh. and he, and he was just like looking down at Earth, and he could just see his feet and the aurora lights just below him. That's cool. I was like, no way, you're. I mean, who gets to like do that? Yeah, out of all the astronauts, who gets to do that? Probably like two. Have you seen that picture of a uh, a guy took? He's standing on the moon. Took a picture of the Earth. Yeah. And it says, the guy standing behind the camera is literally the only person that's ever existed not in the photograph. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true, yeah. Yeah, that's a well word thought. But, how many times have we been on the moon? We, oh, meaning. Yeah, me and you. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost count of so many. <laughs> I don't know, we've been shitloads, I think. I think we've been like seven. I think. I think shitloads. Fun about seven. Put in the comments what you know. What you know. <laughs> yeah, because we're not going to research gonna, it. We're going to side with it. Shitloads or seven. I reckon it's like seven. There's not much video, is there, from it? From the moon. Like, you think that. Cause they, haven't they been like. It went like a few years ago, or like five years ago. You think there'd be quite a bit of video? Maybe they've. I don't know. Well, it's Whatever. what they release, isn't it? It's like... Yeah. I don't know. I never research these things. I just comment on it. Yeah. We'll just chat shit about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Lord of Rings is more real to me. 
Speaking of Lord of the Rings, I'm going to do a review. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Lord of the Rings is the best movie. Literally. It, literally. 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 The, not even exaggerating. Lord of the Rings is literally, literally the, the best, best trilogy movie. Yeah. ever. Made. Trilogy. Trilogy. It, it is the best movie I've ever watched. It's not even a movie to me. How old is that? Like, it's aged so well. When was the first one? 2001... 2001, I think, yeah. I remember watching the behind the scenes and it was 1999, so I'm pretty sure no. it came out in 2001. Jesus Christ, man. I was... It was just three films, and it's so big. I remember watching it in the cinema. I remember it being scary, because I was a kid, so... Man, like, yeah. Uh, like the cave troll bit, that terrifying. Oh, yeah, I'd be like... Chit, 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 chit. Because it was like freaking huge and it was so well animated still oh, when I yeah. watch it. It's I'm like, still good, yeah. What? They must have pumped so much money into it. It was, that is such an incredible. And there's, since then, I can't really think of a trilogy or a movie that's like stood out like that. Yeah, like I mean, the Harry Potter trilogy's pretty popular. I've never watched a Harry Potter. Really? Mm. Oh man. They're, they're, they're popular though, and I can get why. They are, I quite like the films. But it's like, just not... As soon as I saw that little four-eyed nerd friggin' wafting his wand everywhere, I was like, it's, it's not really for me. What are you on about? Harry Potter. Four-eyed nerd? Yeah, Harry. Oh. He's not really a nerd. Well, whatever, he's freaking. I just thought, like, I thought it was just, like, a kid's film, so I never watched it. It was only till the... Well, when was the last one? It was, like... I don't know, three years ago? Yeah. I didn't know it was that big until then. It was huge, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... But How I, many I, films did you do? Like, freaking seven. <laughs> eight. Seven or shitloads. <laughs> it's seven books, but they made eight films. Eight films? Really? Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. They must have made a crap ton of money. Oh, yeah. Um, Is Lewis actually not coming today? I don't know, I haven't... Or is he just messing with us? I don't know. I reckon he's messing with us. Man, that's going to be so freaking loud, that crinkly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Alright. Do you want to end this? What, this one? Mm, yeah. We need to record an introduction. Oh, man, yeah, we're going to get Lewis to do that one. <laughs>